Oh, we're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. Sheila Hot Toddy and DJ Pork. What an evening it's been thus far. Um, we bullied each other over Zoom. <laughs> much like the best of America. That's Thank right. You. That's what the internet's for. It's for bullying. It's, it's for, for cyberbullying and uh, uh, exploiting the, the fault lines in society. <laughs> They're exactly right. It's yelling. It's for yelling at each other and making each other miserable and uh this is why uh, i try to st- uh, this is why i take pictures of myself in onesies because that's fun this is why i don't comment on public posts any at all well really. yeah this is why i don't get on social media anymore because it's I, not i commented on one public post and somebody oh. replied to it i didn't it wasn't mean but i was like this is gonna cause a debate I mean, it's <laughs> I'm like i just forget this ever happened I, then you walk away but see, if you do that, then they think they won. You have to, at that point, you kind of have to engage a little bit. Well, let the stranger from the the baby the baby boomer from Massachusetts who commented on my post, they can think they won. I don't care. Well, okay. Victory goes to you, sir. I don't <laughs> care. I concede. Was it really a baby boomer from Massachusetts? Oh, shit. It could have been Gen X, but it was somebody older than me. That's sad when Gen X gets gets when Gen X over like bests you in an internet comment war. Yeah, or when they when they side with the boomers because it's like we 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 need some support, and while the, while the Zennials do support, it's not enough. We need Gen X too. But the, the, this is why <laughs> this is why society is in the toilet. Yeah, exactly. But Look, Gen, Gen X, they can't. They've got to support the boomers because they're next in line to actually be able to survive. Like, I can't blame them because the second the boomers go out and Gen X take that spot, I'm a buddy of up to Gen X. Like, you're right. Oh, hell no. <laughs> just saying. It's all about moving up the chain. Oh, hell no. I'll be just as rude to Gen X at that point as I was to the boomers. Does that mean we gotta we have to side against the Gen Z years after this? I can't do that. I, I can't do my, that. My younger sister's Gen Z. I can't do that. As is okay, mine. Not everybody who's, you know, parents or grandparents, parents, grandparent, parent. Yeah. Uh, what uh, would you call that person? Okay. Gra- grandparents, <laughs> grandparents, parents. No, grandparent, parent. Grandparent, parent. Mm-hmm. Great grandparents. Great grandparents. No. Did you have a stroke? Parents are also grandparents. But he has a sister under them, so they're like grandparent parent. <laughs> oh, 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 we're talking about like the weird lineage. They're old and dirty. Family. So they're GPPs. Yeah. Wait. So like, like my, I have I have siblings. I'm a millennial. I have a sibling that's a Gen Xer, and I have a sibling that is a Gen Zer. All right. So most people so do not have GPP families. <laughs> and so we're willing to throw the zeers under the bus. I, my son's a zeer. I will watch the wheels just go over him because millennials got to get their time at some point, and it's certainly not happened yet. <laughs> well, I support zennials and millennials, and uh, I'm still trying to figure out what GPP families are. I'm not. Exa- there, I'm not exactly sure. What the, it- like pork families? The what? They're like Pork's families. He just said okay. he has a brother who's a Gen Xer. He's a millennial. And then he has a sister who's a Xenial. So his parents are currently putting a child through like primary school at the same time that his brother is. They're GPP. Oh, they're G- I, I get it now. Okay, that that almost made my nose bleed, but I got it now. That's That's fine. Grandparent parents. Got it. <clears throat> and um Jesus. are GPPs really good at like homeschooling pork? <laughs> uh I don't, I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that. Am I a well balanced human being? Sure. Yes, you're fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> we don't bully you. You're so mean to us. Yeah, you were just did you do I need to go back to the first segment and recap what you we're said? So nice. You and all you are is mean. I think you're a well-rounded and fantastic human being, Pork. It's very rude. So rude. (laughs) 
No words. He has uh, he has no words. I said I was taller than you guys, and you took it. You took it <laughs> I don't I don't know what to say to that. Uh, you know you know why you're taller because you got your turbo man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm still trying to make that joke land. Hour, and an hour and a half into the show, it's still not happening. One day. How well did that joke go over? Zero point zero. That's not the right metric. <laughs> How well did that? Uh, do you have a sound sound by that says not at all? No, that's oh. that's as best I can do. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well did that joke go? Zero point. Zero is not between zero. 1 and 10. Yeah, because that, that's how bad it was. It went down a, it went down a number. Fine. <laughs> is that joke? <laughs> Can you point to a, to a chart and tell me where the joke is? <laughs> Uh, yeah. That was terrible. That, see, that was a joke. It's, that was a terrible joke. It's right but here. I can admit it and leave it alone. It's right here at the bottom at this number. Zero point zero. See? <laughs> there it is. There Ooh. it is. 